Kate Pearson Halliburton joining us from Last Word on College Football. Kate, I'll put in a shameless plug for my uh, scheduling series. So I have uh, rated all the schedules in college football, all the power fives across the country, and I rank them 68 all the way up to number one. And one of the tougher ones in the country comes from Vandy right here. So you got quite a stretch of games starting September 16th, Kansas State, Alabama at Florida and Georgia. Before that, uh, you should be able to knock out a couple wins, although Middle Tennessee on the road uh, won't be a, a give-me on that Friday night to uh, start 2017. Not at all. Um, Middle Tennessee is always a solid team with Stocksill at quarterback. It's uh, they, play, they play Vandy tough every year, and I think they're still a little mad about Vandy going in there two years ago and, and coming back and beating them. Um, they didn't go to overtime, but they came back and beat them, and it was – it was it was a little a little ugly at the end, so we're hoping that they don't they don't take it out on us this year. But I think Vandy can um, I think they can take them. Uh, Alabama A and M, you never sleep on anybody. It's always you know the next game up. You gotta gotta prepare for everybody. So it's it's gonna be the first two games should be wins, but you never know any given Saturday. And then I'm hoping that that stretch of four we get out of there with. A solid two wins against the the four the four top twenty opponents, but you never know. You never know. It's it's hard to say. It could either be a great September or it could be really ugly. And hey, I'm hoping do you for make great. predictions. Do I make? I, I'm working on my predictions. Um, you know, I don't. I if we get away from Nick Saban, you know, with with less than you know a touchdown win on us or a touchdown point difference, I think we'll be good. But, you know, I don't know. Everybody's going to be tough. Nobody's really sleeping on Vandy, especially Georgia. Georgia isn't going to sleep on them at all because – or sleep on us at all because uh, of the, the upset last year uh, in Athens. So I don't know. It's Florida. We haven't beat them the last two years, but we've almost beat them the last two years. So it's kind of – I don't know. It's, it, there's people that were obviously on their radar. So it'll be interesting to see. Kansas State – you know, I would love to beat them. Alabama would be glorious. That would be our Super Bowl, you know. But I don't think Nick Saban's going to allow his team to lose a second game in a calendar year since he still isn't over the Clemson loss. So, and that was a fabulous game. So, we'll see. It'll be it'll be a good – I don't have predictions yet. I'm working on that. So, okay. you'll, get them, you'll get them when I get them. So. so, be looking out for that. Kate's uh, predictions on last word on college football. So, follow her there. Also on Twitter as well. Yes. Uh, Kate, what are you working on uh, besides your predictions? Uh, anything else? I am. I uh, do a lot of Vandy player profiles, and I'm currently working on a player profile for Sam Dobbs, who uh, was a tight end who um, he took caught the – it wasn't the game-winning touchdown, but it was the touchdown in the Tennessee game that started the turnaround. And uh, he's fantastic. He's just a cool kid. A um, little bit of everything, music, cinema – does it all. He has this great YouTube channel. I don't know if anybody saw the Vandy sorority spoof video, but he was the man behind that that went viral. So, you know, Sam Dobbs, 84, follow him, or Sam Dobbs official. He likes to do the shameless plugs as well. So he's a good kid. So I, hopefully that story will be out this weekend. So, and then, you know, I've got a whole list of player profiles I'm working on, but can't tell you those yet because they're secrets. Just kidding. <laughs> Don't need to, to let those out for us. Just uh, join Kate and you won't miss anything. Just join her on a last word on college football. All right. Uh, so Vandy, uh, we, we tend to forget Vandy. A lot of people around the SEC uh, discard Vandy, but they did make postseason play last year. You got to consider the wins against Georgia, Ole Miss and Tennessee. Pretty substantial wins there. And uh, I'm looking at it, uh, expecting Georgia to get better this year, Tennessee to be roughly the same, uh, that if you can uh, kind of win that series. I look at the bottom tier of the SEC Eastern Division. You see South Carolina, Vandy, Missouri, Kentucky. And if you can you can win that series against those uh, a clump of opponents, uh, you can put together a pretty good season, obviously take care of business out of conference against the teams that you're supposed to beat and you get a difficult one. Um, one of the more difficult uh, non-conference games you've had in a long time in Kansas state. So that should be interesting. You did have Georgia tech last year who uh, won nine games in the ACC. All right. Uh, Kate Pearson, Halliburton join her on last word on college football. Kate, we appreciate you jumping on board for the first time. Thank you. Thank you. I'm sorry. I was a little nervous. I'll, I'll calm down next time. 
So. <laughs>